Hello, all you guitar maniacs. This is Billy Penn, a.k.a. The Penalizer here with another segment of 300 Guitars TV. And in this quick segment, we're going to be talking about guitar amplifier speakers and their impedance. Uh, some of you more advanced guys will probably know about this, so it may be a little too basic for you. But some of you younger guys just getting started swapping speakers and reading impedance and wiring up multiple speakers, you know, in the 412 box or a 212 box or whatever. Um, this might be a little piece of good information for you. Um, and we're going to show you right here, right now. First thing you're going to need is a DVM. This is just a cheap one I keep in my guitar gig bag uh, when I go out to gigs, just in case I have to bias an amp real quick or check something. Um, that's what you're going to need. Digital is much better than the, the old-fashioned with the needles. And a speaker to read. This is an Eminence Red Fang 10-inch, 50 water. What a great sounding speaker. Great in for, uh, for Princetons, Brown Princetons. They sound wonderful in Brown Princetons. Um, and, and Super Champs, they sound excellent in, in a Super Champ. And they fit with no problem at all, even though they have this big um, you know, can over the magnet. They fit perfectly. Um, anyway, um, we're going to read this speaker. Now, this is an 8-ohm, 50-watt Eminence Red Fang. And when you hook up your DVM, you should read 8 ohms, right? Okay. So for this experiment here, we're going to put... Red lead is positive, black lead is negative, red goes to the plus sign, black goes to the negative sign. Now, for this reading, you can reverse the polarity. It will read the same. If you're hooking up your speakers, however, you want to have the positive lead go to the positive terminal, negative lead to the negative terminal. Always observe proper polarity when you're hooking up your speakers, especially in like a multi-speaker box, okay? Now, 8 on a speaker should read 8 ohms, right? It doesn't. The speaker reads 6.2 ohms. Can you guys see that? It's 6.2 ohms, and that is correct. Same thing for a 4 ohm speaker. It reads around 3.2 ohms, and I believe um, a 16 ohm speaker reads around 15 ohms. I don't remember the exact number, but that is correct. So when you're doing all your wiring on your speakers and you're reading a little low after you're all done and you think, oh God, I got something wrong or something like that, you're right. Read each speaker individual and you'll see that they're, they're not quite what they're you know, printed on, on, on the, um, the literature or on the speaker. And that is correct. So don't fear. Rock. Right? Hook it up correctly and rock. Uh, this is a simple little lesson. If you guys have any questions, please email me, contact me, leave me comments on my blog, fan me up on Facebook, tweet me on Twitter, and stay in touch. If I can help you guys out in any way, please contact me. Billy Penn, The Penalizer, 300 Guitars TV. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.